system is back in service. Annual system maintenance, bladder tank inspection. The following are Ansel's recommendations for bladder tank inspections. First and foremost, inspection and maintenance should always be done in accordance with NFPA and or AHJ requirements. To provide reasonable assurance that the Ansel bladder tank is fully operational, the following steps should be performed. First, note the general appearance of the system and component parts, checking for mechanical damage or corrosion. Inspect all auxiliary equipment in accordance with your manufacturer's instructions. Check all nameplates for readability. Examine all piping and supports for mechanical damage or corrosion. Verify the concentrate fill level by referring to the bladder tank measurement guide. Make sure that the bladder tank valve handles are ring pinned and sealed in the operating positions. Here are the following operating positions for the bladder tank valve handles. Water inlet valve, open. Tank shell drain valve, closed. Bladder drain fill valve, closed. Tank shell vent valve, closed. Bladder vent fill valve, closed. Concentrate isolation valve, normal operating position. Hydraulic concentrate control valve, if provided, normally closed. If provided, sight gauge valve, operating. Finally, record the date of the inspection and any service provided. Notify any operating personnel that the system is back in service. Annual System Maintenance, taking a sample for test analysis. To provide maximum assurance that your Ansel bladder tank will operate effectively and safely, maintenance must be performed annually or sooner when indicated by an inspection. To perform bladder tank maintenance, Ansel recommends the following steps and procedures. First, note the general appearance of the system and component parts, checking for mechanical damage or corrosion. Examine all auxiliary equipment in accordance with your manufacturer's instructions. Check all nameplates for readability, corrosion, or any looseness. Examine all piping and supports for mechanical damage or corrosion. Now, before you prepare your test sample, drain a quarter or more of the concentrate to get an accurate measure of the foam concentrate already in your tank. Prior to sending a sample in for analysis, you need to have a representational sample. Finally, before you begin collecting your sample, make sure the water supply valve to your bladder tank is closed and that pressure has been relieved from the outside of the bladder itself. You must also make sure that the hydraulic concentrate valve is in the closed position. Using your Ansel test kit, collect a small sample of foam concentrate from the bladder tank by completing the following steps. Open the bladder drain fill valve and discharge a small quantity of concentrate, approximately one pint, 0.5 liter into a clean container, then close the valve. In addition to annual testing, Ansel recommends that proportioning tests be done at system commissioning and every three years minimum thereafter. In addition, Ansel recommends that standard quality analysis testing be done annually by the Ansel Agents Laboratory. Our agents lab not only tests the chemical properties of the sample, but also does the lab scale fire testing to ensure the product's performance.